objectives and assert himself on the map and them just playing aggressively with you know, I'm Zai, I'm up front, I'm standing in your jungle and there's nothing you can do about it because there's a Shaker covering me with Fisher and an Omni Knight <laughs> yeah. with Rappel, right? Uh, yeah, it definitely looks and feels much more like the, the five-man death balls. As Lodin, is he dead there? To the final hit of Zai. Okay, First Boxy. Blood picked up already, thanks to that. Yeah, Boxy Fisher. I think you've hit the nail on the head. Liquid don't really have... How inactive they are. I think the, the biggest play they can do is either Liquid dive bot and they punish it, or Mars catches someone top and, t and the, the cop TP's in. They're just going to smoke her down a bot. I'm going to try and match what Liquid are bringing. Yeah. Boxy, still level 4, but a couple of raises off the back of that Fisher. Give Mickey a nice lineup on the kill on Chen. The heals and sustain and the haste now arriving. Mickey can chase in towards them. I mean, MTD has already spent his blink. They do take down Boxy. It looks like Mickey a little bit afraid, but the damage from Zai now arriving from the southern side. Well, Mickey turning with another couple of raises, but he's being brought down by MTD. Zai with a double kill, and Mickey saved up by Insania. Liquid, get the two for one. And Morphling, the big ticket kill that they wanted. There's more with Mask, feeling pretty safe now. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> MTD. Blink away quickly. There is a rune up top, a regen. Something you'll be glad to see. But look at Matu. It's coming straight forward, hooking the quad back into them and killing her off. A blink was just coming off cooldown. Well, maybe next time. Is there another Fisher? Two seconds. Light Striker is there from MMT, but Boxy is going to have this set up for Mickey perfectly and giving him a double kill out of nothing. He's having such a good game. He is 1,700 net worth above Quop. Quop is feeling so pressured. Quop's rotations are. They do. He is dead. I miss you so much. It was so scary and dark and cold. I never thought I'd see you again. Blink. Doesn't have echo, but he could yeah. he could blink and chant, buy time for the Omni to come in. Requiem with fear could also push them away. Yeah. He's he has got uh the shards, so he doesn't have to blink necessarily. Yeah. That one strong, owned me. Was that his first BKB? He's had it for a while, then uses it just to TP home. Well, actually, that's a lie. He TPs top to continue farming. It's called the threat of the BKB. Mm, yeah, true, yeah. but they found another one. A small fling. He's been chain stunned. Eat the hand of God doesn't heal him enough. A triple kill from a tumble man. It's, it's, it's looking like a snowball here. I think DGG have, have made some nice moves. They are actively working their way towards their items. They have these nice deep wards down. They had one on the mid that they were playing around. They had one top two. And they've made the, the most use of it to try and keep the... Okay, Lodin's dead again. To make them... Oh, whatever. He is just a 10. Let him die. Let him die in peace. Don't acknowledge it. Don't don't perceive it. Just let you keep on talking. <laughs> yeah, just, uh, just let him keep talking over his sack. Like Mars Arena onto Zai. The, the burst from Queen of Pain is just simply not enough damage to, to even come close to killing him. They needed this position where all their heroes could collapse on one person and get this burst off with the Queen ult, with the Laguna. Rest in peace, Lodin. Another one. Just wheeling them in. I got a lot of grave tombstones right now. Uh, with one man's name on it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, the newspaper tomorrow morning is going to be 20 obituaries with, with Lodin's <laughs> name. He lived a, a long and fruitful life. MTD also going to going to follow him into the grave as well. Uh, as Liquid look for their second lane of barracks. Yeah, this feels like a foregone conclusion now. Little... But the barracks now wide open. There's a little playable TP back to try and defend. Turns into the pudge, but well, Hook hitting a creep. Not going to fulfill his dreams, while well, Only Me does get the arena spear. But there's the heals and saves. They've got that Fisher with a shard and a blink echo from Boxy, catching and killing the Chen, while Own Me just being ripped apart by the physical damage from Mickey. Pudge now able to rot him down, and the Sonic Wave, it'll, it'll push him around, but it's just lacking damage and cohesion here from DGG. Matsu's far too strong with his BKB up. I'll walk back past the Fisher. Mega Creeps now 
on the cards. Another hook. Pleb drags the DPN, but she's still got her BKB. The dismember on the Queen of Pain is going to break and destroy MTD. And little Pleb now pretty much all alone to defend his tier fours. They'll, they'll just call it. Game one. A simple one for Liquid. Straightforward. Lanes were solid. Moves were solid. Nothing... <laughs> Nothing extraordinary there, just a, an all-around better team than DGG it felt in game one. Yeah, that, that's just all there really was to it. Felt like all of Liquid's moves were a lot more, a lot faster. That's usually the big thing between a, a like a tier one team and a tier two, three team, whatever, right?